Hello there. Now you might have seen the, the death tolls for the holiday period and the 2022 were released last year for our road usage. They were not pretty. 21 people lost their lives over the holiday period. 377 people lost their lives during the last 12 months. It's averaging more than one person a day and that is awful. What you might not have seen because it hasn't been reported as much is the death toll of COVID. For the week ending the 25th of December, the death toll of COVID, so that's people who died of COVID or with COVID as a contributing factor, was 56. It's averaging a lot higher than the road toll at the moment, but one of them gets people very, very upset and angry and telling you not to pay attention to things, while the other gets those same people coming out going, this is such a tragedy, people should look out for each other. So I thought be interesting to flip the switch a little bit and see what would happen if we were using their logic on COVID when it comes to the road toll. So why aren't we asking questions like how many people died in a car crash or because of a car crash? And why are people wearing seatbelts? You know, if you want to wear a seatbelt, you should wear a seatbelt, but that doesn't mean that I should wear a seatbelt for anyone else. And of course, you're only hearing about this because the government paid off the media to report the road toll to make you drive safer. Hell, some people have never even had a car crash, let alone a fender bender, and they've got nothing to worry about. Why would they ever have anything like that happen to them? And in saying that, it's also car crash season. We all know that. There's more people on the road, so of course it's car crash season. Or we could just stop reporting car crashes and car injuries altogether. Therefore, it's not a problem anymore. And realistically, nobody even cares about car crash rates anymore. Stupid to even keep reporting it. And realistically, we all know that these are logical fallacies that are being put out there by a large number of commentators who have free reign of these comment sections from mainstream media at the moment. And nobody in their right mind is going to turn around and say, look, a car accident isn't tragic because it is. But at the same time, nobody in their right mind should be turning around and saying that a death by COVID, with COVID, of COVID, isn't tragic as well. Every death is tragic, and it affects the people around them. And there are steps that we know that we can take, both cars and COVID, to look after ourselves and look after other people. The problem here isn't the deaths themselves. The problem is the commentary on it and what we can do to minimize that sort of commentary. Now, some people don't like to push back, totally get that. But it's definitely time that we start holding our mainstream media to account about the comments that they're allowing to go out, minimizing people's deaths.